Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. Pfft, what's going on on my head? Okay guys, at the start of every video, you know that I read out comments from you guys. So today I'm gonna to read out three comments from my YouTube channel comments. The first comment here is from Nicole Savitsky and they said, will you be touring in the West Coast in America? Uh, yes, I will be. I'm actually going to the West Coast of America in October um, to early November. Um, I will keep you guys fully posted on my website and all my socials, so make sure you're um, connected on all those. But I'll also be back next year for VidCon in June and probably um, early next year as well for some other work-related stuff, so stay tuned. Okay, the next one is from um, uh, Nicole inkling uh, and they said when I graduate from high school it was fun I was nervous but it turned out to be fun positivity love it and then the last one here is from Kane Yo Yo and they said what are the chances of a person with Asperger's making it in the sports world well I know that there is um, a Kim Kardashian used to be married to a guy called Chris I can't remember his last name so please forgive me and he's a famous basketball player I think and uh, he has Asperger's syndrome as far as I'm aware. If you'd like me to read out your comment on the beginning of my video please make sure you hit that bell icon on desktop or mobile because I'll be picking from the first 30 commenters to pick out a few of those to read at the beginning of every video from a video that I upload weekly. Okay guys so I thought I'd do something kind of different so I'm adding some cool stuff to my videos so what I want to do is start off every video with a question so the question is um, what is your greatest achievement and I'd like to know what's your greatest achievement put it in the uh, comment section down below. So this video is going to be about autism and words and everything that encompasses uh, and if you like this type of video and stuff maybe you should hit that subscribe button because I do video videos like this every single week and I've got an up and coming video on autism and stereotypes which you don't really want to miss so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also remember to stay tuned to the very end of the video because I'll be displaying somebody's Twitter profile so you guys can go and follow one of them. It's one of you guys who's followed me in the past week and I'll be doing this every single video so make sure you follow me on Twitter to make sure that you may be featured in my video at the end to gain more Twitter followers. How cool is that? Okay guys, so this week I am going to Summer in the City, which means that I will actually be doing a fan meetup in Summer in the City for Team Autism, and if you're in Summer in the City on the Saturday, which is the 4th of August, around 3pm, next to the LGBTQ panel, um, we are going to be doing an Autism Team Team Autism Autism Meetup um, with a couple of other autistic YouTubers, and um, it's going to be super cool, so make sure you put that in your diaries. Okay guys, on with the video. So we're going to talk about autism and words. We're going to talk about what happens, like why, you know, what, what, is, what am I talking about when I talk about words, and then we're going to look at uh, just a general discussion in that topic area, and basically autism and words, I mean there's a few things that encompasses it. Um, the first one is that um, and I think it's the most prominent for people of an older generation or um, people who can um, relate to this, but it's kind of like when I hear certain words, it really, um, I don't know, it, it's painful. Like I hear certain words and it's like super painful. It's almost like somebody's um, like pinching my arm or like it, it hurts, it makes me feel a bit sick as well. And it's weird, I can't describe it, but it's an unusual feeling and that feeling, um, makes me kind of not want to hear certain words. Um, I, I kind of avoid certain words because because of the stigma that comes with them for making me feel kind of sick and a bit like grossed out and a bit like weird and stuff like that. But then on the contrary to that, I have words that I hear and I, I think like, oh, that's a really cool word. And like, I, I have a favor for those words. I'm like, oh, okay, words. Um, and that's kind of cool as well because I'll have words that I really like and I'll have words that I really dislike. But the weird thing about it is words that I really dislike make me feel really, really sad and, and sick and a bit weird. But words that I do like, are just kind of cool and kind of go yeah okay I like that word which is cool let me know if you guys have that same issue I don't know if this is something unique to me or if it's across the board but talking about words in specifically and the reason I wanted to make this video is because because I realized something the other day when I was watching the um, Netflix show um, Atypical um, and uh, I was watching it with my partner Naomi and um, there was something that happened in it where which I'll explain now and basically this is what happens to me and I didn't realize that it was something different but it, perhaps it is so um, I'll, this happens in two different ways. One way will be that somebody will say something in passing, and I could be anywhere. I could be walking through like a bus stop, or walking through town, or walking through a store or something, and somebody will say a big conversation, and one of the words will stick out, and that word will just stick in my head. And I'll just repeat the word, repeat the word, repeat the word. It could be days, weeks, weeks on end. I have the word for weeks, and it's just repeating, repeating, repeating. And I'm like, I don't know why it's repeating, but the word is kind of like just there in my head. And then I just say the word, say the, and then randomly I'll just say the word out, or like I'll just research the word or like I'll 
I'll try and find meaning for the word or think about what the word means, which is really bizarre. Like, I, I just got so used to it, I didn't realize that there was maybe an issue with it, which is which is quite interesting. Um, and the other way this could happen is randomly, um, I'll just, a word will just be floating around my head um, and it's not a word that I can remember somebody saying anyway. It could just be like a word that it's just floating around my head and I have no, no idea why it's floating around my head but then again it just keeps going around my head and I have to say it like loads and loads of times and then I'll like research it and then I'll have to have a look at what that word means and then I'll talk about that word and that word becomes quite um, uh, like an obsession for a short period of time. I know that people on the autism spectrum do have uh, an obsession with words, um, which is quite interesting. But another um, factor of, of this is because that would be their sp specific field of interest of those words. But there's something quite interesting. So the repetitiveness of the word going round and round and round in my head, which is quite interesting, um, is also very similar to another condition that people on the, on the autism spectrum suffer with, which is called echolalia. Uh, I think that's the right way of saying it, and I'll just, let's let's see if it's the right way of saying it. I'm going to get my computer to say out, so see if I'm saying it right. Okay, let, let's, do, let's do this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Echolalia. Echolalia, there we go. So, echolalia. Um, echolalia is basically where um, you'll repeat like the same word or the same phrase over and over and over again, and it's normally prominent in children with ASD because they'll be kind of focused on just repeating this one, one word, and I guess it's that like, Repetition is kind of rife within autism spectrum disorders and people like repetition, that's why we like routines, why we like structure and things, and that's why we like the same things, the same things to wear, the same things to eat, the same places to go and visit, the same people we know, uh, the same TV show to watch, and, and those things are all comfortable with us. So maybe the same thing is with words, and it's quite cool because by doing these videos I kind of learn a bit more as well, which is super cool. And so the interesting thing is, maybe like the thing about thinking about a word in your head that somebody you've heard somebody say or it just pops into your head is like an adult version or a more mature version of the echolalia which the children um, uh, happened with where they, they, they repeat a word or a phrase but then obviously adult wise you kind of learn a bit more about kind of like not repeating stuff in public too much because people start staring at you and it's a bit weird so I, I try to tend, to tend to stay away from saying those words um, but then maybe that's what maybe that's what that is you know um, and it, it, it's weird because I never ever thought that they, those two were linked together I never thought that that was something different to what I was doing and I, and I never thought that that was actually a thing and, and as well with my um, my word pattern things this happens like on a daily basis I'm obsessed with the word okay guys so here is the Twitter profile you guys should totally go and check out here go give them a follow on Twitter, it will be super awesome. If you'd like to learn more about yourself and your condition, please hit that subscribe button above here, make sure you subscribe to my videos, and then my last video will be over here somewhere, and if you wanna leave a comment, I read every single comment, so please do that. See you next time guys, peace!